How long ago did you start your YouTube channel and what's your YouTube channel about? I started my YouTube channel, this YouTube channel in 2013. Oh, how long? Uh, I kind of just started. <laughs> I just started. Uh, I started my YouTube channel in 2009, um, but I really started really, really using it like two and a half years ago. Uh, basically what it's about is uh, I'm a musician, so I make a lot of music based videos like instrumental breakdowns. I recreate popular songs from scratch and I show people how they can do it too, you know, uh, aspiring musicians and stuff like that. All music, everything, music, writing. I'm gonna start posting content of me in the studio, so I'm really excited. I just signed a two-year music deal a few months ago, so they're filming me everywhere I'm going in the studio. So we have a lot of cool music stuff. I put my music videos on there, uh, I put my interviews on there, and I try to show glimpses of, of my life to make people connect with my story personally. That way they can really connect with my music. How are you trying to differentiate yourself uh, as a musician to stand out amongst all the other uh, musicians that are out there? Um, just on YouTube or just musicians everywhere? Uh, on YouTube, okay. I mean, there's a lot of YouTubers who, who present themselves and their lives and stuff like that, but I think it's, it's not as popular to do because everybody wants to focus on music and the music videos and stuff like that, but I'm more like, I want my audience to have a personal connection with me, so that's why I show vlogs. And I think everybody, everyone's different. Everyone has their own voice. I had to find it myself, and I studied a lot of singers, studied a lot of people. So my music is about love. It's all like love-based. So whatever I'm creating, I'm creating it to encourage people to spread love and to put that positive energy out in the world. I feel like, you know, we need a lot more of that, especially with a lot of things that goes on in the world today. Just, I took stuff from Michael Jackson, and I took, I took things from Jesse J and Whitney Houston and Aretha Franklin, all these big artists, and then I just incorporated it into my voice and just, <laughs> and it happened. When I'm teaching my videos, I kind of put my own personality into it so that they feel like they're talking to a friend, you know? Um, I think that's really important to build relationships with your subscribers. Uh, because that'll, you know, get them engaged and all that stuff. What's your secret to growing your YouTube channel uh, so big? Uh, secret to growing, be authentic. Be real, be authentic, be yourself, and be you. Well, obviously consistency is like across the board. Everybody has to, you have to be really consistent at least once a week, once a month. But I, I recommend once a week, like posting. All the stuff that I write, everything that who I am as an artist, it all leads back to everything that has personally happened to me in my life. And all the experiences that I've had, I just put it on paper and then go into the studio and let it out. And I feel like that that's the most authentic I can be. <laughs> Don't be a carbon copy of somebody that you look up to. Because if they wanted that person, they're just gonna go to that person. So be yourself. Um, I think that's the best way to stand out, the best way to succeed. It might take some time, because obviously nobody knows who you are starting off. But over time, you know, it'll get to that level. And then, uh, you know, an event like this, where it brings in so many YouTube content creators, uh, what do you think is the biggest value VidCon gives to them? Uh, it's just, if you're hungry to learn, like, and really understand things like the algorithm, uh, you know, if you want to, like, there's many like classes and things you can go to with established creators and they give you more insight on like what they actually do. I was actually just talking about this on my vlog because um, I just met uh, Andrew Huang who's a really big uh, YouTuber. He has like 1.3 million subscribers and I actually found out he told me he subscribed to me. I'm like what? And he, he broke down the videos that he actually watches so I know he wasn't just talking. So I think the biggest value that musicians can get from here is that you never know who is watching your videos or who you're reaching. You get to learn more of the business side and things that you can do to grow your channel similar to the way that they did. So they give you a lot of inside information to help you figure out you know, how you're gonna get to where you're going. One of those hundred views could be like somebody who's really popular in the space and all it takes is that one person to kind of shoot you into the stratosphere, you know? So just. To, to know that it's important to keep posting, to stay motivated, and to, to just know that people are watching regardless.